Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, web designers and entrepreneurs. In today's tutorial, we will be discussing a powerful integration that can level up your online business. Connecting Stripe with Webflow by integrating these two platforms, you can seamlessly, seamlessly accept payments on your Webflow site and manage your transaction with ease. In this video, we will guide you through the process of connecting Stripe with Webflow in just a few simple steps. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial set with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use Brave, Brave browser, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you have in your PC. Any preferred browser will be cool. Open your browser and go to the URL section and simply type stripe dot com and hit the enter button that will take you directly to the stripe website so if you have an account make sure to go and click on sign in to log in into it if you don't have an account make sure to go and create one or you can click on sign up here and make sure to create your account of course it will be pretty simple to do it by your own of course once you are logged in into your account or you just created your account you'll find yourself on this home screen on stripe of course here if you're stripe in your stripe account you'll have to navigate to the developer sections or api settings simply click on developers here at the top right corner and then click on api keys here as you can see you'll find your publishable key here and your secrets key here you'll be able to copy both of them or just one of them of course if you don't have them you will have to go and generate a pair of api keys uh, which is a publishable key and a secret key these keys will allow you or will allow Webflow to secretly or securely communicate with your Stripe account. So make sure to copy them and then you'll have to connect your Stripe with Webflow. Open a new tab as an example and type webflow.com and hit the enter button. That will take you directly to the home screen or main screen of Webflow. And of course, for me, I already logged in into my account. But for you, of course, make sure to go and click on login if you have an account to login into it. And if you don't have an account, just go and click on get started, then follow the prompt to create your account. It's gonna be pretty simple. Once you are here, of course, you will have, as we said, to connect Stripe to Webflow. So head over to your Webflow projects and access the designer or settings. So simply go to your designer, click on this three dots and click on settings. Here, make sure to go and click on integrations. As an example, if you click on integrations here, you'll find here a lot of integrations and as you can see we will not find the stripe here so simply go to custom code and here you'll have to paste your api key for us we cannot add any html or css code because we, will, we don't have any plan but for you you'll have to go and get a plan first if you want to do this as you can see we have the standard plan the plus plan and the advanced plan Standard is perfect for new businesses getting off the ground and of course that will give you 500 e-commerce items, 2% transaction fees and all CMS plans features which will let you connect your Stripe with Webflow. If you want to get a better plan, there is a plus plan which will get you 0 transaction fee which is the most important thing and 5,000 e-commerce items. And of course you will even get all business plans features. This plan will be kind of the same as plus, which is advanced plan, but you will just get more e-commerce items if you want to. This is for e-commerce site. You can even go and see for the websites. As an example here, you can get uh, a custom domain if you want for a basic plan or for a CMS plan, you can get a custom domain with 2,000 CMS items and 1,000 monthly from submission and three content editors. And the business one, you will get you a custom domain and 10,000 in CMS uh, items and 2,500 monthly from submission and 10 content editors. So for us, we would like the CMS so we can get the CMS or business or we can go and get the Sunder, which is kind of the same as this website. Here you can compare all the plans or all, all, everything you want from here from websites and even to e-commerce sites. Of course, once you have it, go to the custom code here and make sure to go and paste the code right here and that will connect everything. 
course, you can even create a payment form in Webflow. So within Webflow, once you connect, of course, everything within Webflow, go to the page where you want to add a payments form and add a form element and customize it to include the necessary fields such as customer details and payments amounts and the form settings. You can select the Stripe option and configure the payment settings, including the currency and payment description. Then you can simply test and deploy your payments form. Before going live, it's crucial to test your payment form to ensure everything is working smoothly. You can use Stripe test mode or create a test product to simulate transactions. Once you are satisfied with the testing, publish your Webflow site uh, to make the payment form live. And of course, you can even go and open university, university.webflow.com and hit the enter button. If you're already logged in into your Webflow account, here you'll find yourself already logged in. So make sure to click on more, then click on integrations. And here, simply go in this search all integrations. You can, of course, search here if you want from next and etc. Or you can search by integration types, or you can simply use this search all integration option, which is the best one. So simply here, type Stripe. And as you can see, we'll find here Stripe option. So simply click on it. As you can see, Stripe allows you to accept payments online in a mobile app. So you can view lesson on how to do that, how to connect your, or how to integrate your Stripe with Webflow. You can see everything that you need here, how to do it, how to everything. And you can even view the website from here that we already did. We already signed in into our account and etc. So if you want to know how, if you didn't understand anything in this tutorial, you can also al always come back here. You can know how to get started. As you can see, how to check out work, quick start, enable global payments method, fulfill your order, customize the ch checkout. As you can see, you can customize your integration as an example, use custom domain, customize your access page, collect phone numbers, collect tax IDs, and there's here the boost revenue, of course, etc. And no code option, additional features, and try a simple project. And github if you want and as you can see built and features you will find everything that you want everything that you need here in this uh, in this lesson so if you're this is understand anything you can always come here and check how to connect it with webflow but it's pretty simple you'll have just to get your api code uh, then or key then simply go here to custom code if you have the plan paste it here and you will be normally good to go so if you reach this place, congratulations, you successfully connected your Stripe with Webflow, enabling you to accept payments seamlessly on your Webflow site. With this integration, you can manage transactions, track revenue, and provide a smoother or a smooth checkout experience for your customers. Remember to regularly monitor your Stripe dashboard to keep track of your payments and customer information. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more web design and business tips. Thank you for watching and happy integration stripe with Webflow. Thank you for watching again. Don't forget to leave a like button down below. And if you have any questions, you can always go down below in the comments and keep any question that you want. Or you can simply contact the support of Webflow or anything or follow this lessons. Thank you for watching for the third time and I will see you in the next one.